Hey guys and girls, my name is Tom Prothero and I am a medical student here in Kosciutsa. Uh, I came from London and um, I am studying general medicine. I am currently in the fourth year, but now it's summer, I'm actually about to go into the fifth year, thank goodness. Um, and essentially I'm going to answer a few questions which I think are most important for you to know and that may help you in the application process if you're actually wondering whether or not to start this education. Um, I first learnt about Kosciutsa, about um, the uni, uh, from a friend. Uh, I actually transferred from a Czech Republic university um, and I heard a lot of good things about this university, about the city, about the education program and I was thoroughly impressed. So then I had a bit of a look, I came and visited and I thought, yeah. What I liked about this city was the fact that it's got that small city, small community feel, but in a big city, big-ish. Um, not as big as in comparison to London or um, the other bigger cities, but it's got, it's got that, that small city feel in a larger city, which, which really hit it for me. Now this is a good thing because you get the small communities, so you get to know everyone. You get to experience different cultures in a way that, uh, that you wouldn't so much if you were in a larger city like Budapest, for example, um, in that you get to meet different people, integrate within the communities, know everyone, um, and it really, it really does, it really, for me, um, make it uh, a second to none experience. It has its negatives because when you're in a small city, there's not so much to do. So you often feel that you get like a bubble. But this bubble is good when it comes to exam period because you can focus on your exams and you can pass and be successful. And that's what I think enabled me to be successful in Kosciutsa. Um, I'm gonna tell you a bit about the other countries that, the other people um, and the other countries that come here. Um, predominantly, I'd say that the education program is for of Israeli students, other than the Slovakian students that come here, because they have like a joint program, uh, a joint program where they first of all start studying their first a year and a half, I believe, in Israel, and then they transfer and then they finish uh, here. Um, other than that, we have students from the UK, like myself, uh, students from Norway, uh, students from Sweden. Uh, students from Italy and these Italian students usually come in Erasmus for like a period of a year and this is actually beneficial um, because you yourselves if you choose to study here in Kosciutsa can go on Erasmus so you can take a year or half a year um, one semester or two semesters in another university and this allows you to um, experience again other cultures and other hospital and, and communities. Um, the level of education I'm going to go into now, the level of education in Kosciutsa is, is phenomenal and the doctors are, are simply amazing but it also depends on what doctor you have and on what teacher you have but I myself have either been very lucky or um, I've just had the best teachers okay so um, I'm, not, I'm not being biased here um, but I, I've had a great experience when it comes to teachers. Um, now yeah, it's, it's uh, the Slovak healthcare system, it's, it's, the doctors are phenomenal, but the facilities aren't, you say, aren't, aren't the best, okay. But what you get to learn here is, I'll tell you a bit, uh, like an anecdote, is I was in my, in my third year, I was in uh, internal propedeutics, so that's basically like the basics of internal medicine, which will become an integral part of medicine of your career in medicine and I was with a doctor he must have been about 60 or 70 and he was teaching me how to auscultate the liver in a way that I've never seen any textbook I've never heard of anyone doing but what he did when he first learnt okay so having you don't need to have the best facilities you don't need to have like amazing digital um, digital I don't know facilities at your, at your grasp because they teach you the integral parts of medicine and this is what I'm trying to compare with other my other friends in other faculties across Europe and in England and they just they just don't have um, and the courses that you get here are, some of them you'll you'll be in and you'll be like why is this beneficial why is this beneficial I'm going to become a doctor why do I need to do this I'll give you an example biochemistry 
when you're doing it, you're like, these structures, it's a, it's a mess, it's hard to learn, and da 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 da. But then when you come to pathophysiology and you start to learn about the diseases and you start to do about the disease course, then you'll suddenly be like, that's why I did it, that's why I had to learn it. And it really, for me, I haven't met a course here where I've been like, okay, this is pointless. Everything has got a reason, but just wait, you'll find out later. Trust me, trust me on that. Um, now, I'm gonna talk about the benefits of studying in Kosciuszko for foreign students in particular. Now, I don't know, I'm sure, um, if you guys are watching this, you're gonna know roughly where Kosciuszko is, but if, if you don't, take a Google, have a look, and you'll see it's literally in the heart of Europe. You can take a train for three hours and be in Budapest. You can take a bus, you can go to Vienna. You can take a plane, you can go to Israel, you can go to London, you can go to Warsaw, you can go wherever you want, literally. You can go to Russia. So you can go to all these different places on your time off. But also, for those of you that also don't know about Slovakia, it's seriously, the, the, the nature is amazing. You can take a train for an hour and go to Slovensky Rai, which is Slovak paradise, and you can go hiking with your dogs if you have one, or if not, you go with your friend's dogs, which I'm sure you make lots of here. And you can go get on a train for about two hours, and you can go to Jasna, at, um, the, the, which is a Slovakian skiing resort. And it's, it's simply phenomenal. And also you get the benefit of still being in Slovakia, so still having the amazing beer and wine and food, but also it, it's like a second time experience, which, which I and my friends love to do on our times off. It's also really good studying Kosciuszko because you're gonna be able to meet all these people from around the world. Like when I first studied, I've, I've been traveling, I've been to all these places, but I've never really had friends from say Norway, from Israel, from Spain, from Slovakia, from Czech, Czech Republic. And this also is very, very beneficial. Um, I'm not trying to sound biased, and I know I, I probably do, but I would seriously recommend this, this faculty and I'll be willing to speak to whoever um, to, to let you truly know, as I'm trying to do now, um, about this faculty. I would seriously recommend it, not just because it gives you the chance to pursue your dream to be a doctor, but because you get to meet friends and people that you'll hopefully have for a lifetime. And, and you can't put a price on that. Um, well, you can, it's about 10,000 euros a year, but you can't put a price on that in my opinion. Um, now I'm going to talk about the clinical based medicine uh, here in uh, Kosciuszko. You f basically, you first start the, when you go to visit the hospitals in nursing, I'd say. Um, but in third year, you do the internal propedeutics, the surgery propedeutics. Uh, and that's when you first get to see surgery, you first get to be Part, like partake in the process of ward rounds. You get to see patients, you get to see their charts, you get to discuss with the doctor, and the doctor will be like, so, we've got this patient, we've got these symptoms. What do you think it could be? What would you suggest in prescribing? What, would you, what sort of tests should we do? And that's also when they first start calling you colleague. And for me, that really struck home because a doctor is calling you a colleague and asking for your opinion may not be right, 95% of the times it's not, especially when you're in third year, but they're still respecting you enough in, to get your take on it. Um, I spent, in third year, you don't spend so much time in hospital. Um, it really starts, you spend a lot more time in fourth year. Um, and you have, for example, you have dermatology, which is a clinical based subject. You have neurology which is again a clinical based subject, you have dentistry, so you're always in the hospital meeting different patients in different departments. Um, and you actually get to partake in surgery. It depends on your teacher though, I must add, but um, in third year I was scrubbing in for um, plastic surgery. I was um, allowed to do stitches, I was allowed to administer uh, medication. I learned first learned that in nursing and take blood. Um, and each year after third year, after second year even, you have, in your summer, you have um, praxis. So you have two weeks or three weeks where you have to, you can work here. And I'm currently doing my internal practice now. So I'm going every day um, to the hospital for about eight hours. And we're, we're doing the ward rounds and the doctors 
like ask you what to do. I take blood, um, you do colonoscopies, you assist in colonoscopies, I mean you assist in um, endoscopies. Um, you get to take blood, uh, put in urinary catheters, um, and you get to see the dawn till dusk experience, and you also get to track the patients. And for me, that's very interesting because you like to see a patient when they first come in, and then what labs you're going to do, and then what you're going to give them, and see, then take labs the next day and see if their stats are coming up, and etc. Which is which is really good. Uh, so I would say that the um, Koshitsa is uh, praxis oriented. Um, now I'm going to talk about the city itself. Now I love Koshitsa. Um, mainly because I have the time and ability. Uh, it's all about medicine is, you have to study a lot, but it's all about time management. Okay, so if you're gonna spend, say, four hours studying, four hours a day studying, okay, if you're actually studying hard, four hours is a lot, you can get a lot done. But I usually don't do four, I used to do about six. But if you're doing solid study for those six hours, then you've still got a lot of time for you to meet friends for you to go snowboarding, for you to walk your dog, for you to enjoy life. Like we've got a fan fantastic open swimming pool here during the summer. So I go there to the after study and go to the open swimming pool with friends and etc. So it's all about time management. And I also play rugby here in Kroshitsa. So those of you that are interested in rugby, uh, check out Kroshitsa Slavia Rugby Club. Um, now we play in the Hungarian league and the Slovak league. And also we've been known to play in Poland. Um, we have players that play for Slovakia and we have also have a girls team. Um, so I do all of this, meanwhile I'm still studying because it's all about time management and you'll learn that. Especially when you get into first and second year, there's a, it's a lot of work you have to do and third year is awful, awfully hard. But if you manage your time, like myself and a lot of other people, you can have a ball. But other people, they come here, they literally study and they go on Facebook or they, they do all this other shenanigans and then they, haven't, they say I haven't got time for this, I haven't got time for this, I haven't got time for this but you do, it's all about time management and then the people that do fun things here go wakeboarding, go skiing, play rugby, play football, whatever these are the people that tend to do better and these are the, tend to, the people that tend to enjoy their time now after spending six years here I want to enjoy, I want, I want to like look back and be like I had, I had a fantastic time. I don't want to look back at it and think, oh, what hell that was. And I know for me, I wouldn't, and a lot of my friends also wouldn't. Um, now, when I graduate, um, I'm thinking about emergency medicine or obstetrics and gynecology. The emergency medicine is a new one for me, or traumatology, uh, because last weekend we had a uh, international rugby tournament, a sevens, I don't know if you know rugby, but we had a women's sevens tournament um, here. So we had, um, we had Georgia, we had Slovakia, we had Andorra, we had Norway, Denmark, um, amongst other countries coming to play in a sevens tournament here. And I was speaking to many emergency medicine doctors and, and they were running onto the pitch and treating the, uh, the players and etc. Um, and it really got my eyes open. But the benefit is, is you've got a long while until you have to actually choose. And even though I'm going into fifth year, touch wood, um, you'll still have time to decide, uh, which, I, which I really, really appreciate. Um, now, I really hope that this video has helped you. Uh, if you have any other questions, just, just, just literally hit an email and, and we'll reply. Um, and I hope to see you um, in Kroshitsa soon. Thank you.